What's going on everybody? I'm Scott Oots and welcome to this week's Deal Review. All right, today we're going to take you guys out to a little known place, Los Angeles, California. You may have heard of it. Um, more people there than there are in most places. So let me tell you guys all about this nightmare of a deal. Welcome to your nightmare, bitch. We were in Los Angeles. We locked this property up at $500,000. Put this out to buyers at $630,000, received multiple offers, which drove that price up to 660. Now, for those of you guys that are trying to carry the one, that's a $160,000 wholesale spread on this deal. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Not quite. <laughs> Let's go through this. All right. So, taking a look at this property, it's actually a really cool area. So, let me explain this property a little bit. So, this is one of those properties that on the front side, it looks like a single story house, but it's on a hill. So there's actually two stories to it. And it is basically half view, not, not a full view, um, but it's a really nice area of Los Angeles. So uh, house needs some work, but I mean, it's been taken care of. If you take a look at some of these pictures here, I mean, it's taken care of, but it needs some upkeep. Buyer on this one was stoked. He's in love with this house and we got some problems. We open the escrow, the title comes back with what's called a substandard lien. Basically, the city said, this house is on the hillside and the hillside is moving. With the hillside moving, the house is gonna go with it. So, the city had requirements on what we needed to do. They said to clear the substandard, we needed to build a retaining wall. Okay, no problem, let's build a retaining wall. Got a quote for $25,000 to build that retaining wall. We got $160,000 spread in the house. Great. Not a problem at all. So we discounted the property for the buyer to be able to pay for that retaining wall so he didn't have to come out of pocket. Nice people, I know. So the city pushed back stating that we didn't just need to throw that retaining wall in, we needed engineering, drawings, and soil reports. They would not accept just the wall as the fix, even though they originally told us the wall would be the fix. So. We had to step out of what we're usually doing and start digging into this to find out what the heck we could do to get this house done. Let's take a look at some more of these pictures here. So this is what the inside of the house looks like. Really nice, actually. Um, for a house in LA, really nice. Uh, electric box obviously needs some work, but overall, the house is in pretty good condition, like I stated. So um, as we started obtaining all the documents. We had to talk to the soil people. We had to talk to the engineers. We were literally going back and forth between all these people. None of them would talk to each other. We're the go-between. We're starting to throw out money in these people to start getting bids. Um, basically, the work from $25,000 and a quick little three weeks to do went up to $300,000 with completion between nine and 12 months. Now, part of that is COVID right? This was happening during this time. So they weren't getting inspectors out there. They were slow. They were backed up. So they're saying nine to 12 months by the time we pull the permits and do the work. Now, part of the challenge with this property is it was on such a large hillside and there wasn't room between the houses that either they were going to have to hand dig the entire hillside or they were going to have to bring a crane in and put an excavator over the house and there was no place to stack the dirt. So they were going to have to use a crane to bring the dirt over the house, have it hauled away, stored, and brought back, craned over the house and back in the hill. Are you kidding me? So it's really tough when you're working in an area like that. Um, all right, so keep in mind, we had this under contract for $500,000. Buyers are falling out now because, I mean, this is adding a lot of time to this project, especially when buyers are getting hard money, paying two points up front, paying probably eight to 10% interest. You had nine to 12 months to a timeline. Most fix and flip projects, those loans are for 12 months. So basically, they're also afraid of what COVID is going to do to the market. No one knew what was happening at that point, right? So what's going to happen 12 months from now? So it scared those buyers. They're going to incur costs for the hillside or incur costs waiting for the hillside to get done for us. Um, we continue to work on the property, talking with the city about their ridiculous requirements. But of course, we couldn't go to the city. We had to call them. Try to call the city of LA. I mean, you're trying 50 times before you can get through to these people. 
uh, talking to soil experts, talking to engineers, talking to contractors, literally at this point, like, like what do we even do? What are we even doing with this property? All right, we finally obtained a bid for around $200,000 to complete the work. Now this is to complete the work the way that the city wanted us to complete it. Now, let me just state something that's really stupid. The soil engineer had come out and looked at a neighbor's house because he had the same substandard like four years earlier. The soil engineer, the same one said, this hillside has not moved an inch in four years, but we're still having to put $200,000 into the project. Dumbest thing ever. All right, so we went back to the seller. We got a reduction to 342,650. This seller was so sick of this. He was, he was such a nice guy. He was on our side. He didn't think all this work needed to be done. We didn't think all this work needed to be done, but the city literally had him by the balls, right? The city said, hey, we're not releasing this lien until you fix this hillside. Now, he talked about suing the city, and I said, I don't know if you want to do that. They've got unlimited funds, right? So it's probably not the best idea to get into a fight with the city. You're going to spend more than the reduction would have been. So obtain the new contract with the buyer at $380,000. Finally, but damn, that hurts. Close with a wholesale fee of $37,350. Six months to get this to close and a wholesale fee well below our average. I know what you're thinking. Did it hurt to go from $160,000 down to $37,350? You bet your ass it did. Still, thirty-seven dollars is better than nothing. At a certain point, we put so much work into this property, I feel like thirty-seven dollars is what I paid my employees to literally go through and uh, research all this. But ultimately, that's our deal over there. Um, great house. It's going to look really cool when it's done, but it is going to take some work to get there. So we pulled our 37,350 out of it. We're happy and we want to move on to the next deal. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this week's deal review. We'll talk to you next time.